let's talk about this guy pallet on wheels um, so you might remember that I had a goal of getting all of these trays on wheels and so we have a solution for that that's working really well let me show you that it's those guys right there right and so this is a 3d printed uh, uh, device a uh, tool uh, 3d print wow it, it's late in the day and I'm tired so um, big shout out to Adam for help with this he designed it uh, got me samples and we went through iterative uh, testing and here's the current design uh, the only thing I need to add to this is a screw that goes in that way just to hold it in um, there's weight on it that keeps it solid haven't had any issues with these things except when I pick it up uh, every now and then because of the way I bend it and move it the top pieces that are holding it in um, get uh, pushed back or there's enough stress on it that it moves the tray moves and the wheel falls out so uh, these work great um, and I love these for this use of a single tower uh, in the example of my pupa trays so you can see that a lot of these trays are, are on these uh, wheels and it's working really good really good because I process one of these at a time and so as I I, you know, I roll one over, I work on it, I roll it back, um, and proximity is good. But, as I start to think about having a centralized location for processing, um, you know, like harvesting, uh, way over here. So in the future, all the processing is going to be over in this area. And right now, those trays that need to be processed are way over there. And so if I stick with the single tower per wheel, then what I'm going to have to do, like with the last beetle swap, I have eight towers, great stacks. And so I'm going to have to go back and forth eight times. Now, I could decide, you know, how I have one in front of me, one behind me, um, push one, pull one. There's some issues with that. These things are pretty tall. I'm a little worried about, you know, hitting stuff, etc. So eight, eight trips is really the safest option. The problem with that is the amount of time it's going to take. So I'm going to have to walk from the back of the building all the way up front to get to that location. That's a lot of steps and a lot of time. And so I started thinking through like what could potentially happen to, to make this easier. And this idea was born. So I was talking with some really smart people, uh, running through some ideas, and what we came up with was, you know, from a structural perspective and an anti-tipping mentality, um, it seems to make more sense to group these in, you know, a cube, um, a two by two cube. And it's not a perfect cube because you have the long side of the tray and the short side of the tray, right? Um, but this keeps it maneuverable enough that in the future when there's an aisle, so one of the things that's being worked on is this aisle concept. So I'm going to have, I'll have probably one more tray this way and then have an aisle through here. Well, no, 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 I'm sorry. So these, these are good. So from this one to that one uh, is, is going to be the width. And, and so I need something that's thin enough, skinny enough to get through here. So that's why instead of having a full pallet here, I trimmed it down a little bit uh, so that it's two trays wide. That should fit down the aisle with a little bit of structural integrity um, for the pallet uh, in the in the sense of this guy right and there's one on the other side too um, this is just a mock-up like this is you can probably tell it's crooked but come mess with it I mean it's not it's not holding the trays the goal is to have some sort of structure to be able to push this thing around uh, so a couple changes that I've been thinking about um, is ideally the pallet's skinnier right maybe a, a metal um, a metal rolling uh, pallet, if you will, instead of this thick wood, um, could be could be an option. Uh, and then, as I was thinking about, you know, like when we were talking through ideas, the idea of like wrapping around with something structurally to be able to push on it uh, came up, and I I didn't like that idea at first because that to me impedes the moving of these trays so when i have to unstack or restack these and if there's something in the way so for example let's say we've got you know a, a piece of wood around that way right that gets in the way 
of having to, like once you get that one on, you have to go up and over it, and I, I feel like that's gonna be a pain in the neck. But it may not be. Um, now that I have this together, I think wrapping around this might work if it's at the right level. Maybe just at the top of this tray, it comes around and, or maybe in the middle, so that maybe at the, maybe it's the bottom of this, this tray here, so that this tray sits in instead of, you have to go up and over to do that. I thought about adding an actual platform around this so that, it, you know, eight trays and then a platform, but that complicates things a lot. Uh, and then you have to have structural integrity for that platform, and I, that's probably going too far. And so my thought is potentially having that, that band that goes around, this needs to be much more secure. Um, and the, the, the band around it is just for, is to be able to push this thing without everything tipping over. Uh, the other thing that would help is on the bottom here, having a lip or you know something that secures these in there uh, from the outside, right? So you set the, set it in um, to to rest there quickly and easily. Uh, and this is this is the mock-up, right? This is a prototype, so like the wood's not equal and even. Uh, this was just a test. Um, but what this does is it helps. I mean, I can roll this thing. I don't know if I can roll it while I'm filming. No. I can roll it with two hands and get it where it needs to be. And get and get four stacks to be processed. And what that means from a realistic perspective the last beetle swap i did resulted in eight stacks so that's two trips instead of eight and that's much better and it gets everything up off the floor so that air movement can happen the moisture doesn't condense and cause issues there's no places for bugs to hide um anywho what do you guys think uh any ideas around structural stuff here things that could be improved um Anything like that.